hi guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Sarah if you're new and welcome um, my daughter is currently having a nap so if you can hear her sound machine that's what it is um, I'm a stay-at-home mum I live in Australia and I make videos about budgeting and just everyday life here in Australia as a stay-at-home mum um, we live on one income so that's why I love the budgeting <laughs> and yeah just welcome um, we're pretty laid back here. I think most Australians are very laid back. So, for this video, I wanted to kind of talk to you about... It was supposed to be a bit different, but I'm making it a lot later on in the week than I thought I would be because it's just been a bit of a, a struggle with some things. Um, I just Matilda's been a little bit more fussy than normal, so I haven't really had a chance to kind of film it how I wanted to film it. Um, so I kind of wanted to show how we use and implement the money envelopes in everyday life um so obviously i'm going to be showing you how i fill them i'm going to be doing that a lot later on in the week because oh pardon, we got um paid on friday and when i'm filming this it's thursday so it's almost a week <laughs> i'm almost a week behind and i really want to start either making videos once a week or twice a week um because I really enjoy it and it is kind of just one of the very very few things that I get to kind of do that's just for me um, you know I enjoy kind of the process and kind of talking and um, you know it's just one of those very few things <laughs> that's for me so I'd like to do it a lot more it's a nice hobby and I enjoy that and I'm hoping I'm helping a few people along the way with budgeting and you know what it's like to be a stay-at-home mum living on one income, um, living in a smaller home. I haven't been showing our home that much lately because it's been a bit of, uh, we're trying to figure out where to put everything. So even though everything's clean, it's not organized and it, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but I like showing that because, you know, when you get out on your own, you're not automatically gonna be able to afford a massive house and all of this and that. So I kind of really like to keep it real. So I would like to be showing a lot more of that um, in the future once we do finish figuring out organization and things like that so I thought I'd quickly show you what it looks like putting the money in the envelopes how much we put in and giving like the rundown of the envelopes again we're going to start with Matilda's pocket money um, she gets five dollars a fortnight it's not much at the moment but obviously she's not even two years old yet it's just it is what it is I think she heard her name because she's making a noise. Um, our mini gold savings, that gets $20 a fortnight. This is what $5 in Australia looks like. These are the new ones. That's um, Parliament here in Australia. Um, so, yeah, that gets $20. We're hoping to be saving up to buy a new oven. I think I've already spoken about that. Um, homeschooling obviously ages away from homeschooling but at the moment I'm putting ten dollars a fortnight away for it um, when Matilda turns three I'll be amping it up a little bit more because obviously she'll be starting preschool at four um, and then of course at five she'll be going into um, reception or year one depending on things health <clears throat> That gets $20 and that is for medicine. Um, I have got really, really bad hay fever. So um, I'll be taking this out today to buy some new hay fever medicine. But I thought I'd just show you. I'm pretty sure, um, yeah, that's what the $20 bill looks like. Basically, it normally costs like $20 for the fortnight um, of my hay fever medicine. So I think I might need to amp that up a little bit in the health wise um, living in Canberra um, a lot of people suffer from hay fever that I like my friends do they've said that they've lived in different places they've moved here and the hay fever is just really bad um, in my other budgeting video I talked about what we do for Christmas Christmas gets $20 as well this is a Christmas envelope I make these myself um, I was good I was going to sell them but Etsy raised its price too much so I'm thinking about maybe starting a separate Instagram page to sell them because I love 
I love making them. Again, it's another thing that it's just for me. I sit down, I normally watch a show or something. Um, hair, clothes and beauty, that gets $30. This is what the $10 looks like. These are our new bills. Um, they've got like the little plastic thing in the middle. So, and that's the newer Australian dollar one. Australia $20 and then this is what the old one looks like so our money is really pretty and colorful um, I really like Australia money it looks really pretty compared to like other money around the world it looks very similar to um, Canadian money I have been told I've never been to Canada before but maybe one day our family fun fund hopefully this weekend um, we might be using this on something fun um, if it happens you'll get to see it in a while but if not but it's very important to have the family fun fund um, and that gets $20 a fortnight now um, for our emergency fund and savings um, not as much is going in these two as normal and that is because um, when we moved, they sent uh, our rates and our strata and all of that. For some reason, they sent all of that to the wrong place. So instead of paying every three months like we thought we were supposed to be, um, we had to pay six months all in one hit. So our emergency fund is not getting as much money as I would have liked. And our savings is the same kind of thing. And they each get, um, well, normally they'd get, I think, 150 I'll have to double check the notes 150 each a fortnight but they're not um, and the reason the emergency fund and savings is getting so much is because uh, when my husband had his wisdom teeth removed our emergency fund basically got depleted so once I'm back at a comfortable space with my emergency fund and savings I'll be putting more money like I said into the envelopes it's a different season for everything and each season I just budget off of that so basically sometimes the budget will change every three um, months or every six months just depending on where I need the budget and the money to go if that makes sense so our emergency fund and this is what <coughs> sorry this is what the $50 in Australia looks like this is the new one and this is what the old one looks like so that's how much that's getting and then it's the same for the savings um, I've already done grocery shopping I have hundred and fifty dollars for the grocery shopping each week and then Matilda has a um, hundred dollars just on her food so because I've already said in a previous video Matilda's food is very expensive for formula and nappies <coughs> sorry I also get a allowance which is um, $50 one fortnight and $100 the next fortnight um, and the reason that is is because uh, once a once a month we get a little like a little extra money so I put that towards things like if um, like here like makeup and maybe if I need some extra clothes and things like that uh, also, you know, it just gives us a little bit more freedom if we want to go out for lunch or things like that. But I thought I would show you in the skirts that I did buy. Um, oh, shopping here in Australia has actually become very, very expensive. Uh, I bought these three skirts for $50 from an op shop here. Uh, when I see skirts that will fit and that are long enough, I will put the money in. Most of my wardrobe, 95% of my wardrobe is skirts. Um, so I basically only wear skirts um, for modesty and all of that. Um, and the other time, if you see me in pants, it'll be a gym outfit. I don't wear a skirt or I don't do anything like that at the gym because health and safety, you know, even when it comes to modesty, there is a time and a place. And the gym, you know, if your modesty standards are that high, maybe you shouldn't be going to the gym. But that's just how I feel. But I bought this skirt for $20 from the op shop. It was 
pretty annoying because the skirt doesn't even have the option of falling on a color day so here in Australia um, say red your tag is red uh, are any of these tags are, no this one's blue so we'll say blue if your tag is blue it could be 50% off whereas this one didn't even have the option so this one's a really nice long denim skirt pockets at the back and a little pleat so I was really happy with this and I was okay paying the $20 for it I would probably wouldn't be able to find it this one's a Laura Ashley skirt so it's a really good brand um, and yeah $20 is okay for it I probably would be paying a lot more for that new anyway and even if I went to Kmart and got something it would at least be $20 as well um, I got this one this one was $15 this is a Liz Jordan skirt basically at the Salvation Army where I went to everything starts at around $10 so um, again nice and long it's like a grayish purpley color um, I'm really happy with it I think these three will be great for winter and then this skirt was also $15 um, I think this one's really nice this one still has the brand new tag on um, if you are donating clothes to an op shop I recommend even if they are brand new to take the tags off because they will hike up the price for the item um, yeah and it was $15 and unfortunately I didn't get any of these half off but it is what it is I'm really happy with those three skirts and they should last me throughout winter so I shouldn't need to go and buy any more stuff at the op shop so I'm really happy with that um, but yes thank you for watching and I hope this kind of explains how we do things um, I'm just trying to think is there anything else that I've purchased I brought you know I brought a coffee um, you know normally on a Friday when we get paid so once a fortnight I'll treat myself to a nice coffee maybe have a look around the op shop to see if there's anything that we might need we really need to stop buying clothes because that's one of our um, clutter issues is trying to keep on top of the clothes and things like that um, I'm between sizes at the moment so that's the other reason that I probably shouldn't be buying clothes um, yeah <laughs> but hopefully you will see a grocery haul in this video um, I've already filmed it I just need to double check that everything is all good with it because Matilda was having a moment um, <laughs> so yeah but thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one and bye okay so this is our grocery haul so I brought these I like these for a snack um, in the afternoon I only have them with some pickle which I did buy so sweet mustard pickles and I have that with a little bit of cheese and it makes a really nice snack um, I normally get hungry at around 4 so nothing too big before dinner two loaves of bread Matilda really likes eating bread um, and of course we have sandwiches for lunch I brought a six pack of pies this will last us for three meals so um, yeah three so three weeks basically I got some light cheese we do like the sandwich thin slices but that was four dollars forty um, so I just brought this because I, it's a lot more versatile and I can use it for so much more things and you get more out of it that was $9.90 so cheese is expensive I got potatoes we have that on our cottage pie we roast them mash them this will last us two weeks we've got some pasta uh, mayonnaise for our sandwiches lip gloss can't forget that um mints this was $13 a kilo I was but I do get 12 meals 
Uh, so I get 12 portions, if that makes sense. Um, so I make spaghetti bolognese and shepherd's pie out of this, and I get 12 servings, so less than a dollar a serve for the mince. So that's not too bad. I am trying to stop drinking Pepsi, so this is what I brought it. Um, and then I mix it with the diet right, and it tastes okay. I got gravy, hot chocolate. I love this. This was a splurge, but it's to try to stop eating like biscuits and sweet. We did get Tim Tams. They're not in this haul because we ate them last night. <laughs> so this is just to try to have, you know, once a night. It's only 46 calories. It tastes really good. Um, yogurt for Matilda. Um, something that you won't see in this haul is like the formula and nappies and all of that because, you know, um, I've kind of talked about that. I buy it all together, but it's not really in the same thing. French fries, two things of carrots, um, skimmed milk, ham for the sandwiches, flora or butter, and then two lots of baby wipes. So this is for the next kind of fortnight. In the intro though, I would have told you what we already had in the pantry and all of that. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!